How fun. Can't jump on top of those and game over. Dang it, I was really hoping I could make it through that level. Alright, well maybe I'll try that level. Um first. It's also confusing that you can sometimes kill these bubble things, but not always. Like you can't do it if it's under certain circumstances. You know, if it's being shot out of that thing, it's no longer the same bubbles you can kill. Very weird. Not not helpful. died, I think. Mm. game is not fun. And I don't know if I can explain exactly why this game is not fun, whereas something like Rock and Bullwinkle is. I mean, or was for me. I, mean, I know that some people don't like it, but... Because... I don't know. I think it's partly the level design. A little bit with the controls. number of lives you can have. Probably nine. And the game also kind of doesn't make sense at times. Like I went through this area already and like it's, it's changed just because the game decides to change it. It's like, oh yeah, now, by the way, you can do this, where you couldn't before. Shit. Alright, well, that's fine, I guess. It gets rid of the, uh, ridiculous invisible barriers, just whenever it feels like it's appropriate to. Changes the rules on you, like this, where... Um, the ant passed over it, but it did not trigger the thing, but it will trigger the thing in the later one. That kind of stuff is kind of, uh, a little bit too cheap. But boy, is it really easy to get a whole bunch of lives, isn't it? Dizzy. Oh, hey, Pelicate, I didn't even notice you stopping by. I'm like so zoned into this thing. 
Yeah, this is... And you... Okay, so you can't jump on top of it... Unless it's already been triggered. Alright, so this is... This is the hell that is Mousetrap Hotel. So here's what we have to deal with. I'm hitting select button to access the map. I'm down in that basement floor with the weight room and whatever else was over there. As soon as I get through this, which will be very soon, I'll have access to four more floors which I can take on at any, uh, any order I choose, it appears. Um, and then after you beat those four, then you get access to that top part, which I guess leads you towards the end. I hope that's the last level. I don't know. Um, this is like... Um, it's like a worse version of Simpsons Escape from Camp Deadly. Which is a game I kind of like, probably mostly from nostalgia, but still, I do enjoy that game. This one, I don't know, like it hurts my eyes. There's a lot going on, like a lot more than you might think. Like it's, it's a pretty basic platformer in a sense, but there's a whole bunch of different enemy types. Um... with their own attributes and stuff like that, which is surprising. Okay, so I'm collecting these cookies. Cookies are basically your life meter, which is, you know, sort of like how the candies worked in, in the Simpsons game that I was talking about. If you lose all... You can get killed other ways, but, like, you know, if you lose all of your cookies, then you die. Um, also, cookies are good for extending your tail, because your tail is your attack... Oops. And the first couple cookies that you grab, it'll extend your tail to make you attack farther. It'll give you a greater reach. And then from there, it's just extending your life bar. So now I'm at the elevator. I've gone through the basement level, which takes a while. I don't fully know how to activate it, to be honest with you. It just sort of opens at some point. Um... So, the first time I played this, I went through the f fourth floor, and I failed. Um, I can do the first floor. I'm going to go through the second floor just to kind of see what that's like again. And every time you do this, in, your, in the elevator, you get this little mini-game thing where you try not to miss any. Um, but you get extra cookies, and then the cheese is our life. So there's a cheese... That's life. So it's a... Uh, a clone of whatever... I forget what this game is... called. Oh, and I just missed that. Life. Oh well. But anyway. And so now I do this. So I have the cheese next to the basement, which shows I beat it. Yay! And now you use your tail to beat up just about every enemy, but not all of the enemies, and... There's a door you can't go through yet, or at all, actually. The first level was... <sighs> the first level was weird. The first floor. I should say. Because... You go through the entire thing, you go through the, the uh, like, from left to right, and then you collect this cheese or whatever it is, and then it makes you go back through the level again, right to left, but everything's changed. New enemies and, and everything are there now, all of a sudden. Um, so these are vents which you can go through sometimes if they're open, that one's a closed one. Like the open ones will look more black. And I equate this part to Kung Fu because you move a couple steps and you have to attack a guy, move a step, attack a guy so and then you have the deadliest enemies of all springs from beds that are uh, self-aware or something 
Can't attack while you jump. Can't attack while you're climbing. You also can't fall too far in these areas here. Whoops. Okay. So I landed on a mouse trap, but I got a piece of cheese, so I really didn't lose anything. Because I gained a life and lost a life there. They're pretty generous with the lives. Hidden cookie. And then you can trigger the... I, I learned that you can trigger the mouse traps with your tail. I had just been avoiding them, but I tried it out because the fourth level was teaching me something. I couldn't really get through anything. I lost like all all the lives I had on the fourth level, and I couldn't figure out like how to get past the part. And then the first level taught me a different mechanic, which was that you can use your tail to whip some obstacles into place. Like there's a tack that you have to put underneath um, a human's shoe so that you can pass under it. Because otherwise it moves too fast and it'll kill you instantly. So I'm like, okay, well if I can whip the tack, then maybe I can whip the the mousetrap too and I don't have to jump over it. And Anyway. Now there's also these laser parts within the vents which are timed little things and I'm really bad at timing them. Whew, just barely made it. See, I should have waited a little bit longer then. I, I'm still just... I'm done with the patterns. I'm, I'm not smart. Okay. So how was your night? How, how was the... Earth, I saw you were playing Earth Defense Force, so I just didn't get a chance to join. Are you done with it? There we go. I don't blame you from taking a break from turning and burning. See, I picked the raw I picked the exact opposite time to go through that. How do I get through this vent? Okay, jump and do it that time, evidently. I saw that someone has a speed run of this game of like 35 minutes. So it makes me question if I actually do have to go through every single floor or not. Oh, I got hit by the bug. Crap. Maybe I only have to go through level... Level four, and I can skip the first three. Something to consider. Tuck under you to be safe. All right, now this part's tricky and, and bastardly. Because if you get, okay. Whew. If you fall too far, you will die. You have to hang on to that pole. But if you go down all the way to the pole, you'll also die. Because it leads to an empty pit. And you can't jump off at your own leisure. Of course. That would be too easy. So I lost about like five lives on that last time I tried this. Doing much better this time around. Not sure if I'm happy about that or not. <laughs> Alright, and then I learned that these guys coming up here, you cannot whip with your tail. You can stomp on them. So that was a fun ex adventure to learn. Alright. It's 
so now I hope I can make it through... Alright, now I'm farther than I've made it on this level. So, practice makes perfect. Do I need... I don't know if that means I should go through that... hole or not. Like, I... Th I want to believe that... that means I don't? Like, I don't want it to circle me around again. Shit, I forgot, I can't... And I can't backtrack. So, if I was supposed to go in there, or if that was like a bonus or something, then... Oh well, too bad. But normally the ones that you've already explored are like turn gray. At least that's what it seems like. We'll see if this is good enough. I mean, that sounds like victory music. I don't know. Can I get in? I want to be done with this. Okay. Yeah, alright, so I beat that level. The only one I have not tried at all is three. So I guess I'll give that a shot. And then we'll see how that goes if I... Like if, if that goes really well and smooth, then... Maybe I'll get really lucky and I'll beat this game tonight. It'd be great to get this out of the way and out of my hair. All right. And there's like a time limit to the elevators, by the way. Um, okay, so I'm in the hallway. There's like a laundry room and then like two major bedroom things or something. I don't know what these things are. Okay, so I can knock them out of the air at least. New enemies. Okay. And you can't attack while jumping, so that makes these things a little bit trickier. Oh, wait. So it's a kitchen. Flames. Can't touch the flames. I'm positive. Also cannot whip the flames. Oh, you're gonna just follow me. Okay, that's gonna be interesting. That's probably gonna turn the oven on. If I touch that switch. The other kind of interesting thing about this game is that it seems to be actually based off of the board game. I was going to put it in my title that it wasn't, but it's made by Milton Bradley. Yeah, see, so that time the, the ants did trigger it. Wait for the next one to trigger it off, and then go. And then they're burning in the flames. Interesting. Come here, burn in the flames as well, bug. Yeah. Shit! Oh wow, flames are instant death. I guess that makes sense. I'd rather take that hit. But yeah, like some of the stuff you see are like the nets from the the game and it's interesting. Oh, that burned up the cheese. That's 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 kind of cool. Like the flame burnt up the one-up cheese. I'll give it credit for that. I need to catch the floating cookie. Oh, I missed it. Salt and pfeffer? I don't know what the F would be. Or M? S, F, M, K. I hope that's not like a code I need to memorize. M and K are probably mustard and ketchup.
All right, so this one so far isn't too bad. It's just recognizing that... Oh, hey, I knew thing. I'm assuming I can't hit you? Yep, can't hit you. What are you? What kitchen-related thing could you possibly be in, please? Oh, oh, wow, okay, they're instant death, whatever they are. That's not cool. Especially with these things coming through, too. All right, I'm just gonna take the hits. Crazy. All right, I'm on a conveyor belt. I'm assuming that that's bad. Am I still in the kitchen? Yeah. Dishwasher. Oh, okay. Whoa. Those are the dishes. This is my favorite level so far. I'm not gonna say it's a good one. I'm not gonna say that. But it's my favorite so far. Ah! Like, it requires a little bit of dexterity. I appreciate that. What? I got hit by that? Sucks. Give me the extra life. And now, of course, just random forks. Which I can move over with my tail. Get out of here. I'm now, oh, that's a dining room. Okay, I thought those were like giant beds. Ah, crud. You should be able to step on the ants too and crush them. So that's the second dining room table. I'm probably close to the end with the cheese. Oh. Evidently there's a third table. Or is this last one? I'll find out in a second. No, nope, the music didn't change. Which is what happened in the first level. The music just kind of changes. Probably the person who does the speed run. All right, made it through. Um, just takes a lot of damage. You know, just allows himself to be hit to boost through some of this stuff. Because, I mean, I'm maxed out on my health. 16 lives. Plenty. Bugs are a little reminiscent of the Simpsons game, but those wasps and Simpsons are much more annoying. I see you. Don't try to pretend. Does that count? Cool. I counted. So I still can't go up. Maybe I'll skip the first floor, because I have not completed the fourth floor yet. I was very close, I think. So I'll save the first for last.
I have no idea if, oh. Um, I have no idea if my cookies are still increasing or what. These guys just take a whole bunch of hits. They're nice and annoying. I mean, I'll take the cookies. Alright, so there's a hole there. Oh, that's right, the hole, I think, okay. Yeah, so the hole is just collect a key from each room to exit the floor. And there are four rooms. I only got two keys. One, two, three, four. Okay, one, two, three. There we go. Where am I now? I'm over here. So this part's a little bit of a maze. These guys are just like straight up bombs. You can whip them, but they're gonna explode and hurt you. So I learned that the hard way. I'm sure like the instruction book probably says some of this stuff, but I think this is the key. Yeah. And here's the other fun part about this. After you get the key, here's this cat. Yeah. All right. So I got him, I got him that time. First time I tried this, I did not hit the cat with that weight. Um, and I was like stuck. I almost died because I, I think it's just a timing thing. So anyway, I have the key for this room and now I just have to get out. patterns like here I wouldn't I would not be surprised if he just sort of like whoever did the speed run I didn't actually watch it I just made sure there was an ending to this game because for some reason there was some doubt on that uh, all right this was the one I died on okay so coming back, I kept on trying to jump over that mouse trap and then go under his leg all in one motion and he was just too fast for me. So the idea I think is to just, you know, now I know I can whip the, um, the thing. Second room, okay. Like now I know I can I can whip the uh, the mouse trap and, and then that gives me an opportunity to go under him. going so much better. Alright. Two for two. Yeah, so I kept on trying to like jump over this and then go underneath that, which is going so fast, but now I know I can just do this. And just barely make it, but I make it. Alright, so now I'm farthest I've ever been on this level, too.
Thankfully there's no enemies on top of this. Aw, that was a longer pattern than I expected it to be. Room 403, okay. More bombs. Uh-oh. I'm still in room 403. up or is this good I'm in 404 now huh So far, this level is not hard. Just a little bit of a maze. Like, I don't know if I was supposed to go the way I just did. Does that just happen because I passed through it? I wonder if there's a way to avoid that or not. Does this lead me back to where I was? Am I in a loop? Possibly. Guess I'll know in a second. Certainly looks exactly the same. So I'll avoid that one. That one's closed. So how do I get back to 403, I wonder? Or is this looping around? Ah, okay. Damn it. Yeah, yeah. It's looping around. Got it. three of them shoot okay all right so some of these get activated just by walking across another new thing I'm learning God damn. I got 
gotta be getting close, right? Please. So I'm in room of 403. Makes me think that I shouldn't go through that first one. Okay, just don't go through this one. So it's a little bit of a maze. What the heck is that supposed to look like? All right, this is a fun little maze. So that's that. How do I get out? Just go far as to the right as possible, I guess, and then there should be a vent. That's my guess. If I'm not mistaken, I think that's I think the last level is also going to be a maze. So fun. There's that vent. Okay, now I gotta get that fourth key. But before I do, um, short, tiny little break, I'll be back. Okay. Onward. And upward. Or possibly downward. Room 404. That's not where I need to be then, I guess. Unless, unless a mouse hole appears now that I got the other three keys. Or, I'll see if I can go farther to the left. I can, okay.
Oh man, I'm hitting the cat every single time this time. That's awesome. All right, so I have all of these. Oh, I thought I got them. All right, well, that's fine. 17 lives. Now I need to get back. To whatever vent is open. Which looks to be this one. And then back through the hallway, and I should be good. How can anyone beat this in 30 minutes? Even if you know the path, the character moves so slowly. Gives you extra cookies, that's nice. Sometimes you just have to sit and wail at enemies until you get a little bit of an opening. Not exactly a fun way to go. take the hit so I can move forward. I mean, there has to be a lot of it. It's just taking damage just to get out of there. Oh, good. They come back. If you don't go after them, they'll chase you. Come on. I'm almost at the elevator. Just let me be at the elevator. Hupanay! Nope, can't go to the top floor yet. Gotta do number one. Well, if I'm willing to put in a late night, which I might as well, luckily I don't have any work calls tomorrow, uh, I'll probably beat this. Man, that's a lot of... Going from fourth floor to one uh, is is nice, nice amount of time there. Twenty-three lives, and uh, who knows how many cookies. See, there's like the nets from the the board game, and I gotta say, I don't really like the board game either. Like the board game itself is pretty dull. The fun comes in just you know building the thing, but then you do that once and you like that's kind of gets annoying as well. Oops. Well, it didn't take anything off my max yet, so hopefully that means I have a lot of leeway here. Might as well get the extra life, right? See, here's the part where you can like start using the attack, and now, oh look! He's not going to stomp down on me anymore, because, owie. So I can just use that to get through. And they don't start stomping again, which is very nice. Oh, fuck you. Hard to avoid getting hit sometimes. This may be one of the hardest levels, like floor number one because there's so much stuff to dodge ah, like I can't get over to do the thing there we go Okay, 
forget it. Not worth the cookie. I'll take the stupid hit. This is the end. And pretty soon, whew, those guys will go away. So there's my victory noise. Now I just have to go back with brand new obstacles that appear out of nowhere. can't destroy those either. You have to just straight up avoid them. Or get hit like I just did a couple times too many. Ah, gotta get like a running start. Now I missed that cookie! Alright, I took two hits but got one back. Wee. little woodstock looking things. Oh, fuck you. Ah! Alright, well good thing I have so many cookies built up, I guess. Mmm. I'll take the life. Really? Ah. Oh. This section is rough. I mean, like it's it's quite a bit more difficult, I think. I don't know if the splashing part hurts you, so I played a little safe there. Oh, fuck. It's also the same death noise as Simpsons Escape from Camp Deadly. I'll definitely take the hit there. So each life you lose a cookie. as well as the life. Huh. I'm almost through. I actually did not know that that was about to happen. Ah! Get you out of my face. I do not want to risk any deaths. Thank you very much. Okay. Hot damn. Hooray. Now I can go up to the very top. 55 seconds. Plenty of time to get more lives now I'm very one very curious very wondering I'm very wondering and curious as to what this if this is the last level for one and if so how 
hard it will be to navigate. The ballroom. While they're dancing. So it's a pattern thing now. easy pattern. That guy's not gonna let me through at all, so I have to go through this. Halfway through the ballroom. What the fuck? Okay, well that's interesting. As soon as I got the key, that pathway opened up for me. What are these ghosts of? What a weird level. I don't know how to dance. Oh, rushed it. All right, yeah, I was, I'm still going the right way. Let's not rush it this time. Alright, well it's stopping me. I can't, I mean I could go farther, but there's not really a point aside from that thing. What are those things? Alright, so I think this is like where the maze part happens. Yep, <laughs> it's even labeled maze. How cool is that? So this is it. This is definitely the last part. Okay. Um, I don't know if those mean anything. Uh, we'll start with the left, I guess. I don't know if I should be like writing this stuff down or what. Can I kill you? No. Alright, there's a... You're gonna kill me. As four. Like... I have to assume that these mean something. It also says four. I'm just gonna keep messing around until I get something right. That seems like the best thing to do. Okay, well there's the keyhole, but I don't have the key. I see. This says C. This looks like it's a bad thing. Yeah, I can't go there at all. It's blocked off. 
All right. At least there's no time limit. If there was a time limit, then I'd be really up up a creek. Oops. And, and I mean, there's not really any danger either that I can see. Here's an O. T? Is this spelling something that I don't know? Uh, all right, well that lets I needed to go through here. No, I didn't. Okay. I mean, I have 32 lives. There's the O. Oh, okay. So when I get to the this one, I'm gonna go over here to the right. Yeah, this is new. Okay. So maybe, there's the key. Cool. All right, so I found the key. I just need to get back to where I was, which I think is, all right, there's the O. Yeah, yeah, I should be good. I think I'm I'm almost there. They're fast. This one? Yep. Yeah! I think I did it. Yeah! The fireworks. I'm with my lady mouse. Hooray! Yeah, okay, so I hit select. There, there I am in the penthouse. I'm hitting A, I'm hitting B, it does nothing. I can pause the game. Can't attack. I can, I can show that I'm in the penthouse. But, uh, yeah. That's it. I cannot hit any more buttons or anything, so that seems to be the game.